To find the volume of a triangular pyramid as well as a square pyramid, we may use the formula volume is equal to one third multiplied by the area of the pyramid's base multiplied by the height of the pyramid. Because the base of one pyramid is a triangle and the base of the other pyramid is a square, finding the area for each pyramid's base will be the only difference when using the two formulas. The capitalized B in our formula represents the area of the pyramid's base. To find the volume of a triangular pyramid, we must replace the B with the formula used to find the area of a triangle. To find the area of a triangle, we must multiply one half by the length of the triangle's base by the length of the triangle's height. We are going to substitute the formula to find the area of a triangle with the capital B in our formula. Notice that we changed the height of the pyramid to a capitalized H so we don't confuse it with the height of the triangular base, which is represented with a small h. Next, we are going to substitute a value of 8 in for B, which represents the length of the triangular base. Next, we are going to substitute a value of 10 for the triangle's height. And the last substitution that we are going to make is by replacing the capital H or the height of the pyramid with a length of 6 feet. Now we must multiply all of our terms together. Because all terms are being multiplied, we do not have to keep the parentheses. And also notice that I elected to write all whole numbers as fractions. This is not a necessary step, but for some people it makes it a little bit easier to use cancellation. In this example, we can cancel out the 6 and the 3 because they share a common factor of 3 and we can turn those two numbers into the number 2 on the top and a 1 at the bottom. Notice that we have a 2 remaining on the bottom and there is also a number 2 on the top. We can cancel out both of those numbers and turn them both into the number 1. Notice at this point that all of our denominators are the number 1 and when this is true, you can simply multiply the numbers remaining on the top and that will be your answer. We have an 8 and a 10 remaining for our numerators and 8 times 10 is 80. So the volume of the triangular pyramid is 80 cubic feet. Now let's find the volume of the square pyramid. The base of the rectangular pyramid is a square. Because squaring the length of one side of a square will give you the area of a square, we will replace the capital B with s to the second power in our equation. Because the base of our pyramid is a square, that means that the length of each side of our square should be exactly the same. Keep this in mind just in case you encounter a problem which only has one side labeled. Don't get confused by this. Because it is given that our object is a square pyramid, the length of all sides of the square must be the same. You would still take the length of that side and square it or multiply it by itself. In this case, s is equal to 12 feet and 12 to the second power is equal to 144. Next, we are going to substitute the height of this pyramid, or 9 feet, in for the h in our equation. Now at this point, we must multiply all of our terms together. Notice that the 3 and the 9 may be canceled out by a factor of 3. So we can turn the 9 into a 3 and the 3 into the number 1. At this point, all we have to do is multiply 144 by 3 and that will give us the volume of the square pyramid. 3 times 144 is 432. So the volume of the shown square pyramid is equal to 432 cubic feet. So remember, when finding the volume of a triangular pyramid versus a square pyramid, the only real difference is how you find the area of the pyramid's base.